So thanks very much to Devin, Warren, and Wesley for being with us today. Uh, we're excited to hear about their works of art in the City Gallery. And um, before we hop into some questions, could you just give us a brief uh, introduction of yourself um, to begin with? We start in alphabetical order, Devin. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll go first. Um, so yes, uh, my name is Devin. Um, I am a uh, contemporary artist living in Augusta. I've been practicing for about, say about four to five years. Um, uh, what else did you say? You said just like who I am and what I do. General introduction, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, that's, that sums it up pretty much, yeah. Warren. Yes, uh, my name is Warren Richard. Um, I'm an emerging artist. I, I'm, I'm practically brand new. I did, um, I participated in a, uh, uh, a, a show, a, an educational uh, piece that, um, that the Herbert Institute uh, gave. And um, uh, it's called art, the Business of Art and um, participated in a uh, student program that uh, you know we had a, a art show at the end so <laughs> that day forward i uh, i became an artist <laughs> but um uh, have a background in in public policy and i'm bringing that public policy uh, experience into the studio and the work that i'm planning to do uh from this for this point forward And Wesley? Me now. Uh, Wesley o. Stewart. I also go by WLS and then also Regal Aina um, is just because my my other moniker. Um, uh, I'm one half of Pitch Tree Design LLC. Uh, Matt Thomas is the other person. He unfortunately is not here. He's on vacation. Um, uh, I'm mostly a public work artist. With anything and everything are related. So. Also, teach at, at um, Georgia Military College um, for our appreciation. Great. Thanks so much for uh, being with us today. Mm -hmm. And I guess we should do some introductions too. Um, I am Harvey White. I am the educator at the Augusta Museum of History, um, helping John moderate this discussion. And I'm John Hayes. I'm a history professor at Augusta University. Harvey, <coughs> Harvey and I are both members of the 1970 Augusta Riot Observance Group. Thanks. Um, I guess I'll, I'll kick it off um, for us as a general intro is, um, I guess, how, number one, what led you to become involved in this work? And I guess I want to get a sense of what your work typically entails and if this was kind of a deviation from that or if it just came, if it was something that your work usually talks about. Uh, um, I, I guess I'll go first if that's okay. Um, go in order that we went. Yeah, when, when I originally saw the call, um, I hadn't known too much about the 1970 Augusta riot, if I'm being entirely honest. So I did like a bunch of research. Um, and I, and like I, I randomly found out that um, uh, my own uh, grandmother um, almost got caught up in the riot. Like she was actually heading home um, and she was like stopped by like a huge, you know, crowd of people. Um, you know, thankfully she's fine. Like, you know, she wasn't hurt or anything like that. But, um, I kind of got involved with it because for whatever reason, my own personal work, it doesn't always um, come off with, you know, such like a depth of, you know, political and social, you know, whatever. But for whatever reason, lately it has been, especially since last year. Um, I think the right is most relevant because of that. So that was a big reason um, that I decided to be part of it, honestly. Uh, I guess I'll go next. Um, I think that uh, it's quite interesting that um, 
I was I was actually chosen to be a part of this project um, uh, last year, but it, it was quite a coincidence that um, my wife uh, was, uh, uh, I guess, the, toward the end of last year, um, was stopped by the police and um, uh, and, and it, you know, just created a, a terrorized her, um, and so in sort of a backlash of, of all of this, um, she went through a very uh, tough time um, trying to, you know, uh, bring closure to that experience, um, and so it was just interesting that that happened um, as I was working on. The, the pride, you know, my the artwork um, for this project, and um, so I, I think that um, you know that that it, it really hit home um, for the kind of impact that uh, people uh, experienced in the in the work that I did. I interviewed um, a few of the, the the local people that really haven't gotten a, a chance to to share their experiences um, um, with the you know with the uh, the Augusta riot in 1970 um, and so it it just really um, hit home for me you know as I continue to to work on that project um for me I I guess it, I, I, I I guess it goes back and forth between if it is my artwork or if it's not. Um, I guess in, in graduate school and therefore and afterwards, like um, I'd say that uh, a lot of my work is content oriented, but I would say not as as heavy um, as as the 1970s riot project um, for uh, a multiplicity of, the, uh, of reasons. Um, I mean, as, as Devin pointed out, just the just contemporary culture of how much like through the research uh, of this whole project of the rights and everything of of how you could easily put 2016, 2017, you know, another date on this other than uh, 1970s. Um, there's that uh, the content of um, I mean, also just, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, of me being a, a white, you know, white male. Um, researching about this also just kind of gave me, I don't know, a way bit, a way different perspective than, um, I don't know, that I guess I didn't have one prior, really. I just kind of, through this research, I just was just amazed of what, it, what happened, you know, that this actually happened in Augusta. Um, uh, I, you know, for me, I, I, truthfully, I just enjoy all types of artwork. And if I can do more and more research on it, it just makes it um, gets me more involved. It makes the piece you know, the piece of artwork better all around. Um, and also, there's just more rel relatability that even though maybe somebody may not like my artwork or Warren's or Devin's or wherever's, at least they you know it, all of us are just showing another facet of this project of, of this project of the history of Augusta that you know, I was not familiar with and that even through the, throughout this whole project of just talking with Matt um, and other artists and people around Augusta, people also didn't know. They were, they were looking at me with a very confused face. So it's just nice to uncover or unlock more of Augusta's history. Yeah, and I think it's, it's interesting how Devin was saying he found that he had a personal connection through research and Warren was able to get there through, I guess, a personal connection with his wife, experienced something like a tragedy, some trauma that happened to her. So it's interesting how you all got to those to those personal places through research or through modern day things. Go on, John, I interrupted you. No. I, <clears throat> so yeah, you, you've touched on this. I'm curious, um, did you all grow up in Augusta and, and was it you know, as you learned about the riot, was it weird to you that you had not heard about it or had, um, that it was not better known? Uh, so, yeah, so, so I'm, uh, I'm sorry, I 
was thinking about a bunch of things at once. So yes, I I was born and raised in Augusta, and as I grew up, I I frequented a lot of the like key areas um, that are noted across the days of the riot. Um, and no, I had not read about it. I was not taught this. Um, and it's funny because when I brought it up to um, uh, like my mom and my uncle, it snapped in their minds. So they, so they knew about it. They definitely knew about it. But for whatever reason, I had not been told about it, which I guess says something to um, the generations of uh, new citizens in Augusta. Well, I'm sorry, excuse me, not new citizens, but the new generations who live in Augusta who <laughs> don't know about it. Um, I guess it kind of speaks to whether or not we're ready to confront something like that. Um, Cause unfortunately there are a lot of places in America where things like this do happen, where like a lot of civil injustice and a lot of civil unrest did, but it's not confronted well enough. Um, so yes, it did unpleasantly surprise me that I wasn't told that like taught this at all and that I hadn't even had the opportunity to even like come close to even understanding it until I, you know, found out about the project. So. Yeah, I, I, I kind of concur with that because I, I, I'm, I'm from New Orleans and, um, my wife and I, we, we moved here with our three kids, uh, in, uh, was it, I think, uh, 2009. And, um, and I think that, um, but ever since I've worked on this project, um, and not, not of course, talking to the people that I interview, but also, but, but basically talking to other people, you know, that I've mentioned to them about the, this project, uh, a lot of younger adults in the city, I've noticed, uh, we're, we're not a, aware of uh, what happened in, in 1970 in Augusta. Um, some of the people that I, I've talked to uh, just in passing, you know, people that I've met and kind of passed the word on about the project and encouraging them to come and, and to visit the, the gallery, um, they were, you know, they were surprised. They, they, they had not been informed as to the history of Augusta um, in 1970. And um, so it, it, I consistently heard those, that, that kind of a comment, um, which, uh, which I guess speaks to, you know, just the, you know, uh, of it being passed on, I guess, effectively to the, to the younger generations. Yeah, um, for me, I had not heard about it. Um, but I mean, like, to be fair, I, I think most cities, if they have riots, they don't really talk about that. Uh, just because I mean, that's not, it, it, you know, excuse me. Bless, bless you. Thank you. Another one? No, I'm good. Um, uh, you know, um, as well as also, you know, uh, for me, you know, uh, my family's business, like back in the 50s, like is downtown. Um, so, I mean, it's something that I, you know, I was, uh, you know, and even some of the places that, that was traveled, it was, I mean, the, my family at some point probably would have seen people walking at some point, but I was never told about any of this. Um, you know, maybe that's the reason why sometimes, in, I guess, you know, K through 12, you know, it'd be nice if, uh, local history was involved with history class, you know, um, uh. Within that, though, um, you know, at the same time, much to cover that, you know, we can keep finding out more information, talk to more people, more things are, are, are discovered as we go on. So, you know, I guess in hindsight, it is a good thing that we didn't really know about it just because you know, all this project, I think, would have not been the same. Yeah. So all of you had to do some level of research. Um, I did too. When I first started, I've only been here three years. So um, 
this being on this committee has been a learning a learning process for me too and i've done a lot of digging but through okay you're doing research for the project was there anything that said okay this is the thing that strikes me this is what i'm going to focus my my art pieces around um yeah i think um i think the biggest thing for me um uh, for whatever reason, I kept going back to um, Charles Oatman himself, um, who, you know, if you're watching this and didn't know, um, was uh, brutally uh, murdered in prison. Um, and for, you know, quite a while, it was, quite a while there was an expectation said that it was by, you know, other, um, by other inmates. Um, but the thing that kept coming back for me is, is um, there wasn't such a sense of of justice for that young man. And in my particular piece, um, I kept it um, mostly, mostly somber, not like sad, but mostly like, you know, somber, because I, I think we forget that um, who's traumatized most by these events are the generations who have to grow up with it not always men and women in charge, but the ones who have to set this as an expectation for what it is to be normal, even though that's, that should definitely not be the case, right? But um, it tells them that things like this happen and they happen to people, not only who look like you, but who live with you, go to school with you, um, who are friends with you, you know, things like that. So that's what gravitated me back to that. It was. It was that understanding that um, without fully understanding it, um, you're mostly just doomed to repeat the same mistakes. And that's very relevant within the last, not even the last 10 years, within the last five years alone with all the, um, mm -hmm. you know, but yeah, that's, that's what drove me to it. Yeah, well, one of the things that uh, that drove me to, the, the, you know, just just made this story uh, fascinating um, was the fact that there, there were already uh, a great deal of um, of research and uh, um, presentations of of what happened uh, in 1970, and. Um, uh, since you know everything is, you know, uh, on the internet is, is visual. Um, my my goal was to really uh, try to convey a message, um, and uh, so my my pieces, you know, I've I've, I've done basically uh, four pieces, and um, one of the one of the pieces that I did was. Um, I called it weeds between us, and uh, and the reason for that is because um, uh, I chose the as an inspiration uh, was one of the, the pictures that were taken of the uh, when those that gathered at the courthouse it was called at that time uh, the courthouse there was a line of police presence as well as on the other on those that actually uh, attended the the gathering and um, it was there that the the, uh, the leadership of the city basically wanted to convey a message to uh, to those that gathered um, and kind of give an update as to what was going on with Charles Oldman and so I you know it, it, it struck me that there's always, even in the, 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 the riots that took place last year uh, of the, the racial unrest that uh, is going on because of the, the killings of, 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 of young people, male and female, um, that, um, uh, that really it, 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 it indicated that there is always this line, a line that's, that's drawn uh, which you have two sides of the line and and there's a battle you know uh so i wanted to to convey that um in in that particular piece 
and um, uh, to show that um, really, you know, like, like weeds in our lawn, they're, they're, they, they can be very um, uh, alarming. Uh, they could be misconstrued and a lot of miscommunication going on. And so um, that was sort of the impetus of, 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 of that particular piece. Like, yeah. Um, for, for myself as well as, I mean, for myself, but also, um, uh, uh, my, my fraternal brother who I'm working with as well. Um, we, I mean, part of the inspiration was uh, just to, um, you know, uh, from the art artistic point of view is just, since Augusta is working on their public art portfolio, we wanted to try to establish that more so. Um, and rather than have the right right observance be in a gallery or be in a museum or anywhere else we kind of we wanted to have it where you know since this since the rights themselves were actively around Augusta at the time that maybe we could you know try to make a walking tour or a driving tour of that um so the two pieces that are in the gallery it's actually there's a third piece that has that isn't revealed until we actually put them out and in, into the public um but for us the the inspiration was um, you know, uh, representing Charles, Charles Oatman's youthfulness, uh, that he was a 16 year old, you know, in, in a jail with adults also, you know, uh, also had, um, you know, um, you know, mentally had handicapped mental problem, you know, not mental problems, but, um, mentally handicapped, uh, we wanted to make sure that, um, that the six individuals who were shot and killed mostly in the back, um, were, were represented as well. It's like this whole, you know, especially again during the riots of, of last year and prior, like say their name, say his name, say their name. And so, um, you know, the third one, I, I, I don't want to talk about. I actually want to, I want people to see it once it's finished and actually, like I said, in public. But, um, you know, our, again, the part of the um, inspiration and everything else for it was just to try to relate this information to the public without actually, you know, for them just being out in the public rather than visiting a place and reading more. Because unfortunately, the public doesn't really, doesn't like to read. They just like to look at things and move on. And so, you know, uh, trying to capitalize on the, mo the, the most information without, you know, without it being too much. Um, uh, the other one for the, for the, uh, the Augusta Six, we actually used a poster from that from that time, um, that uh, like don't you know it's just like don't mourn. And I have sorry. There we go. Yeah, it says don't mourn, organize. The remember the Augusta Six. Mm -hmm. So for us, we we weren't trying to reinvent the wheel. We just wanted to highlight the imagery that was of that time, whether it was photograph, um, type or, um, you know, drawn, so. Yeah. Talk a little bit more about, um, I guess, elaborate on on space, because we you're talking about, you know, it, the, the walking tour and all these things. And I feel like putting this exhibit um, on the Augusta riot, on Charles Oatman, who died in, at, by, in government property, basically, um, in a public gallery, in a government building, says something and i i wonder if you all thought about that when you were when you were creating your art or if you've thought about it since that yeah this is something we're putting in a government building and how how is that different than it being in a you know privately owned gallery or a museum even yeah yeah um i i personally have had um quite a bit of artwork in galleries and I think the biggest difference is is people go into a gallery like with intention, right? You know, you're walking into a gallery, you know what you're looking you're there for art, like you know what you're looking for. You walk into um a government building or just any other building, for example, you see something like this and it opens up a question instead of setting an, an expectation of what you want. It, 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 in my opinion, it leads you to understand it in a way that you wouldn't 
if you came to it yourself, just like I did, and just like I'm sure um, a lot of other you know artists did. Like, like we said earlier, we hadn't you know heard too much of it before this actual project. I think bringing yourself to something like that um, can be a bit startling at first. Um, I know that when you look at any of the art, um, it automatically you know clicks in your head like oh my god you know this is a a, a real thing it, it, it happened but i think bringing people to that realization makes it a a, a, a lot more for real um and in my opinion it just resonates a lot more once you actually come face to face with it yeah yeah i think it's interesting what you said about you know sometimes you don't seek things out and still happen <laughs> Yeah. 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 Uh, well, I would say for me, um, I, again, the 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 intent of myself and Matt's artwork was to, is to be for public artwork. So the gal, I guess, having in a government building versus gallery was never. It's just it, it's a resting point for mm -hmm. to its final resting place. <clears throat> the place is. Um, but you know. So, uh, by the way, fantastic job with all the other imagery, maps, everything else that was put up in, in the um, in the municipal building. I, we were gonna print some stuff out, but then we showed up and saw that stuff. I was like, okay, I just need to just bring my artwork. <laughs> um, but for me, uh, you know, the, one of the big differences is just the, how the, the municipal building itself is. You know, official business is done in there. You know, whether it's with our county, other counties, other states, other officials of some kind. A lot of times, you know, all that's that, that's in there is being, you know, shown as you know, representative of Augusta. This is Augusta. This is who who we were, who who we are, who we might be. Um, and so, you know, uh, having the artwork as well as you know all the other material that went that, that goes with it, um, hope you know, will hopefully just exact, you know, everybody else will have the same realization that most of us have. That, like I didn't know about this. Good Lord, there's a wealth of knowledge that goes. This is a, you know, this this was a big deal, and I'm surprised that you know I have not heard about it, Devin, so forth and so on. Um, you know, because it, it, you know, it also closes a certain time too. Versus the gallery would be open at night times, a little more casual. So there's just you know that the difference between those. Yeah, I I agree with that comment. Uh, the uh, I'm I'm, I'm I'm sort of proud of our leadership that uh, allowed uh, us to be able to to have the gallery in the in the municipal building because uh, it, it kind of conveys a message that there is some honesty if you will or you know or at least in a, in a, in a thought there that says you know we want to um you know, reveal what what happened and and uh, why it happened, and and just really from from the you know the actual gallery to the having um, the historical marker there. I mean, you know, it, it just really speaks well to the current leadership that they want mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. um, to celebrate and and be a part of of conveying that message and that history to to those that frequent the, the building. And, 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 you know, and hopefully, you know, we can get more people to, to those that have never come, uh, come into the municipal building, uh, that, that they will, will come in and, and, and see the artwork. So, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm sort of proud of that, I'm proud of the, of, of our leadership that they, they uh, participated in this. Yes. Yeah. And I'll, yeah. And also say, it also just shows that we, you know, we have other history than golf. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah, yeah I, I will confess, and I probably shouldn't sit on our on our live stream, but but um, as as we were finalizing the historical panels and putting those in, and those went in a, a day or so after your, your artwork, we were looking at each other and thinking like, are these going to last till the till, till the end of June? Is there you know is there going are there going to be complaints? But they're still there. So um, so I want to ask. Um, you know, what ideally, what do you want the community to take away from this exhibit? Uh, when it comes to takeaways, um, honestly, if 
the only thing um, that someone gets out of it is the fact that they did their own research too, like that they, you know, um, read articles or you know look at images of it. Um, I'd be happy with that, just because um, you know I can never say this enough. You have to know the history, even if it's you know ugly, even if it's even if it's something that is very very traumatizing generations down the line. You have to know it because um, it sets the it it sets the expectation that nothing, no matter how big or small, can be forgotten because that means that the individuals involved have not had justice um uh honestly that's it you know i i really just wanted people to know about it after everything was said and done so. yeah well you know the, the there's uh simply the fact that um you know we had the issues of, of of uh, police um, killing uh, innocent people uh, in you know in this country last year and, and still going on today actually, um, and I and I think that the the, the it's, it's interesting to think about a takeaway because it's um, it it sort of you know leads us to to kind of try to make sense of it all um and i think that um you know if if someone was to really come and and, and view the artwork and um and and really take advantage of, of uh, i think there was a book where, where comments can be made um i think that um the takeaway would is, is hopefully is to, is to help people try to look at what is you know what's happening still today yeah. and why it's happening um i think that uh, our work our artwork is very purposeful uh in, in raising awareness and I think that um, you know, get you know, giving people an opportunity to for those that were here in Augusta at that time, as well as those that were not, to app, to opportunity to 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 weigh in, you know, on uh, what happened, and um, and hopefully, you know, as time progresses, we we can, you know, reflect on it to be able to to make sense of it all. Um, because it's it's a it's a very difficult thing, um, given the fact that my my wife went through something very similar. Thank God she was not shot by the police, uh, even though she wanted to. You know, they, they they really prevented her from 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 walking. Um, they really accused her for something that she did not do, and. Um, and, and so it's just it it hopefully the takeaway is that you know people can understand uh the problem that we're having you know and and why it's still happening today and and hopefully enough people will get the courage to speak out and to participate in efforts to change things and have a, a better impact on, on our society Um, your question was again, what, 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 what I want patrons to take away from this. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I, <clears throat> again, um, for myself, as well as also for Matt, you know, uh, some of the takeaways we have is that, <clears throat> uh, just education, big part is education. I mean, you know, is educating, you know, not only myself, but public at large, uh, either people that are local, people that are visiting, um just you know just educate about you know what happened who was involved you know and try to remember you know the lives lost and try to give them 
justice, a little bit of peace, you know, or rest of some kind. Um, you know, that and also uh, as well as bring awareness of what's going on. Um, you know, another thing is also just to just to show this commonality. You know, again, you know, watching TV and watching these riots unfold everywhere else around around the country and the world, just kind of like, well, I live in good old little Augusta, Georgia, you know, with waiting for the masters to happen type of thing. And the fact that through this research, you're like, oh, man, like, you know, before I was born, like there was some major riots that happened, you know, over over major injustice. And so, you know, hopefully it will you know, again, bring us more together, have it where, you know, the uh, older community and the younger community can have, again, commonality and have something that they've been like, oh, well, I know what you're going through. You know, I've seen this before. I've been here before. Um, and as Warren pointed out, you know, it's hopefully it's there to hopefully change, change the, 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 the mindset of, of the city, of the community, you know, so forth and so on. Also, also, the, I will speak for th all four of us. Is that you know, the takeaway? Is that you know, that the uh, committee picks some really great artists, and that we're awesome. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't think I have anything else. Do you, John? Just are there uh, are there any things we we have not touched on that you would like to say? Uh, I don't I don't think so. I think. I, I, I think we went through it all. Um, one thing I want to I want to uh, say is uh, I loved um, I loved how uh, receptive the uh, the riot committee was, um, and how openly they you know exchanged feedback and everything. Um, you know, this is one of the uh, first times I've worked with you know such a, a large committee and with you know other artists. Um, and it was a, a pleasure, in my opinion. So thank you. Thank you. Yeah, same. It was great working with everybody. Yeah, like the committee was you know, gung-ho about anything and everything. And I know, with, especially with our idea, from what we proposed to what it in, ended up being is, is quite elite. And like I said, you, the committee has been for it the whole time. And I, I also just want to praise that you know that you guys did again a great job inside the municipal building for, that goes with the artwork so. where can we find you where can the people yeah. find you um you can find me um i'm sorry i just made this website like a couple months ago i barely even remember the name um you can find me at uh sued studios that's ps E U S T U D I O S um dot com. Um uh I don't think I have anything else, but yes, you can find a lot of my artwork there. Instagram? You got Instagram at all? I'm sorry, I, I didn't I didn't quite hear that. I think he was asking Devin if he has Instagram. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was asking like everyone, like, oh yeah, I'm free. Um, yeah, no, I was asking everybody, but. Oh, uh, yeah, I do, but I never put anything on it. Okay. Like, yeah, like you're better off just Googling my name if the Instagram's not gonna help. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, if I may, I, I, I just want to share that. Um, I, I was blessed by the opportunity to uh, to interview uh, the Wright family. Uh, of course, I, I interviewed uh, five individuals or five families, but the Wright family, which is one of the the, the families of of the of the of the individual that was uh, shot in the back. Um, he was a teenager at that time, and and we were able to you know get in contact with the family, and um, and I interviewed them, 
and it was just it, it was just a it was a blessing to give them that opportunity because they had not really i think uh you know shared their um their op you know their 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 story and so uh I, I was just blessed by that opportunity to to have spent the time with uh uh, uh, uh william wright jr's uh siblings and so uh, i just wanted to share that yeah uh, i think one of the um uh, the only thing that I have online is um, uh, is a Facebook page, which is which is W Rich Paintings. Rich Paintings uh, can you know uh, can be fun. see some of my artwork uh, on Facebook. Uh, for me, you can find me at wesleyelstewart.com. Instagram was Regal Hyena. Um, uh, find my work all over the place, hopefully in Augusta. In Augusta. Um, also, Pitch Tree Design um, is also the um, is the other side of us. That's kind of I guess the, the more proper wing of the of the art side. Um, you know, I guess my final thought is, is that if you're if you're reading about this, watching this, so forth and so on, just keep passing this this information to somebody else, and tell them to pass it to somebody else, and just keep daisy chaining this information so that way everybody, um, you know, can know can know about this, and hopefully from there maybe even more people that you know uh, that are that were alive during that time can come out and speak more about it. Well, thanks very much for, for the three of you for being with us today um, and for your powerful and poignant artwork that is, that is in the City Gallery. Um, if you're watching this, do keep in mind that the uh, exhibit is up Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5, but it will end on June 30th. So if you have not yet seen it, please do get by and, and check it out. Thanks again, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Take care.